We're back out here on Verhunga Savannah for the first time since the ARs came out to Call of the Wild. And it's going to be quite the adventure. We actually have both 308 ARs with us and we have the 22 Hornet as well. One Wildebeest out there at about 190 yards out. There's probably going to be more. Right now I only see this one. Wow, I guess there was only one. I can't even believe it. But yeah, one wildebeest. I knew there'd be more down there. In fact, that right there is actually a dying potential wildebeest 150 yards out. Holy, the estimate on that thing is huge. So we're gonna slide over a little bit here and see if we can't get a better angle to take the shot. Not only that, there should be quite a few more as well. There's one there, a level three. And there's our big four right there as well. All right, so they're about 250 out. I wanna slide over to the edge of this little lip here and we should be able to take the shot. <gasps> Holy, look at the estimate on that thing. 39 to 44. That's a guaranteed diamond wildebeest. I've never seen an estimate on a wildebeest that high before. Oh my God. A five medium guaranteed diamond wildebeest. So we have him, but not only do we have him, we have another one that's down potential as well. And he's a level four, a big level four, max weight level four, in fact. All right, so we got a female coming in there. I think we're just gonna hang tight right here and let him come back in and when he comes back in we should be able to take the shot and honestly if we could double up that would be kind of epic that right there should be our big level four down potential and there's a three right there so yeah that's him he's a big level four down potential gold wildebeest Now we just got to try and find the guaranteed diamond. Like I just saw the female right there drinking and they're probably behind that brush, but there's no sign of any of the big males. So in that case, we're going to slide over here and try and find that guaranteed diamond wildebeest. Ah, I am pretty sure that our guaranteed diamond wildebeest should be right over there in that herd drinking. Cause we got a female right there. But man, is it difficult to see in this tall grass. Or maybe there. Holy, I didn't realize that there were so many herds of wildebeest drinking all at this one spot here. So we actually do have a male there. There's probably more over here as well that we can't see in this tall grass. But for now, at least we know there's a male there. Well, it's not a wildebeest, but we got a somewhat of a decent kudu out there at about 315. And I'm going to go for a shot. Nice. That was very, very nice. Not going to lie. I didn't think we'd hit him that perfect, but we absolutely smoked that kudu. Well, I think I figured out where our dime potential wildebeest went, guys. He is right there next to the big four. Unless that's a different one. Which I find it hard to believe. It's probably our guaranteed diamond. It's got the exact same estimate. It is. Oh my god. They're literally side by side. There's the gold dime potential big four. And the max weight diamond potential, well, not diamond potential, he's a guaranteed diamond wildebeest right next to him there. So since we just took down that kudu way over here, we're gonna go over there and pick him up. And that's actually gonna put us in a good position to be able to take down that giant wildebeest as well as the big one next to him, side by side. Can you imagine if we can pull off a double diamond 
side by side like that it would be pretty sweet and uh with the rifle that we have I think we're plenty capable of uh, pulling that off. But here's our nice kudu that we took at 335 yards on the trot. Double lung heart shot. Beautiful shot right there. Absolutely incredible. And not a bad size kudu as well. All right, there we go right there. There is our big level four. He's 250 yards out and the guaranteed diamond is right next to him there. So it's actually gonna be way more difficult than I thought because we literally have to drop him and then try and smoke the five after that. Well, we got them both right there at about 200 yards out and they're definitely in range. But because of the thick grass here, I don't really have a good shot at the vitals. We could get lucky and maybe get liver or lung, but that's not good enough for a shot on a guaranteed diamond. So we're actually gonna hold off on taking this shot here and we're gonna try and move in closer. And if we get close enough to them, they might actually jump up. In which case I happen to have a nice little tripod set up right there. So he should circle back and try and cut over this hill here. And when he does that, that should give us a nice shot opportunity to take him down. So yeah, I think we're gonna try it. Let's go. Let's go make this happen. All right, here we go. And I'm also gonna throw on the Hyperion again. Well, I might not have found the herd, but that there is the guaranteed diamond. I just got eyes on him. He's heading out this way here. Oh, that's the four, that's the four. So at least we know where they're heading to. Now we're gonna get over here and try and cut them off. I'm just hoping that the big four is actually in here as well. Even though, yeah, he's a guaranteed five. And that should be, it's him. What a perfect spot. Okay, we got a nice wide open valley out here. And we know our wildebeest is right down there. So we're just gonna take our time now, get set up, get in a good spot where we can actually see and have decent cover, as well as be able to take a bunch of shots on this giant wildebeest. Well, there's two of them, so we need to be able to drop or at least take a really good shot on the guaranteed diamond and then try and get a follow up on the big four as well because he's diamond potential too. Holy, there he is right there. Look at the size of that thing. And there's our big four. All right, guys, this is exactly what we want to have happen here. Except he's coming right towards us and he's gonna be in some really, 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 really tall grass. Got a three right there. What's going on? And here comes the four. Here he comes. So I'm thinking that our diamond should cut across. Oh, right there. Perfect. 200 yards out. Both broadside right there, guys. That thing is absolutely massive. Holy. When he steps out right there, I'm taking the shot. He turned. Oh my God, he just turned directly away from us. All right, I still see him. And the big four should be over there as well. And I don't know where the five actually is. You know what? If I could get up on some kind of hill anywhere, it would be just awesome. All right, here we go. That's a female. That's another female. Oh my God, there he is. 160 yards out right there. That's a shot. That's definitely a shot. All right, I probably could have taken that, but that's all right. I'm going to take one right now. Smoked him. Where's the big gold? Where's the big gold? I don't know where the big gold is, but that thing is massive. He's huge. I bet that's our biggest wildebeest of all time. Just the size of the horns and the spread on that thing is unbelievable. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Look.
look at the curl and look at the mass. Jeez. Let's take an incredible picture of that. So, is he going to score like 40 plus? <laughs> That's our biggest one. That is our biggest diamond wildebeest of all time. And what a shot on top of that. A walking 133 yard double lung liver shot. Tucked it right behind the front shoulder. And the 308 definitely did its job. What a massive diamond. I think that might be close to a max scoring diamond. I don't even know if they get much bigger than that, to be honest. Like, geez, that thing is huge. And that actually was quite the adventure because we had him 200 yards away, but we just couldn't quite get a shot because he was in too tall of grass. So then my goal was to try and push him up on top of that ridge and he cut back the complete opposite direction that I wanted him to go. Then I finally got eyes on him and by the time I was about to take the shot, he actually cut back and went straight directly downwind from us and we lost sight of him again. Then I saw the big gold and I thought, okay, he's got to be there. And then I lost him. And then all of a sudden I saw a female. And once I saw the female, I thought, okay, he's got to be coming out. And sure enough, he was the next one out. And we smoked him. Check this out guys, we got a jackal there, a male jackal, 150 yards out, and I hit the wrong button, but if I could pull it out in time. Smoked him. We should have got decent penetration and that should take him down. Yes, it is going to. Oh my God, that was epic. Our first male jackal with a 22 hornet and we drilled him at 150 yards out. I've been wanting to use this rifle for quite a while now because I heard that there's recently been an update to it or there's been a buff to it and it's got a lot more knockdown power now and penetration so well now we know. And look what's laying right here. There lays our male jackal. Alrighty let's have a look at him. It's gonna be a gold. 24.9 gold. Took him at 167 yards and went right through that shoulder and got a single lung man talk about awesome penetration right there so here's actually the female that we shot in the very beginning because i was like there's got to be more out here anyways there she is smoked her at 188 nice double lung shot and then shortly after that is when we spotted that guaranteed diamond right down there and then we spotted the uh the big got the uh, the big dime potential level four as well, which is the one that we're still trying to find at this point, And I don't know where he went. Well, I think we figured it out. There he is right there, 250 yards away. I kind of feel like I should throw on the Argus scope, but I really don't want to waste too much time. Yeah, I'm going to throw it on. <laughs> much better smoked him and there was a decent four there female where'd the rest of them go no more blood but we definitely have a bunch of tracks going out this way I'm surprised we never saw that one if there's tracks right here then you would think we would have seen it but it's piled up right here Oh, they jumped up right there. Oh, man. Well, couldn't quite pull that one off, but here's our big old wildebeest. Double diamond, baby! A double diamond! We did it! 37.7 diamond gold gold wildebeest. Actually, no. It's not gold gold. It's just a gold diamond. I'm so used to saying gold gold because I've never actually gotten a gold diamond wildebeest before. And now we have one. 236 yard. Perfect shot. Actually could have potentially even got double lung heart from that angle there. But 37.7 gold diamond 
Wildebeest. All right, let's see if we can't find the rest of that herd of wildebeest over here. They trotted off this direction. So I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult to find them. But then again, they could be pretty much anywhere at this point. They run and hide really, really well. Anyways, we're going to go for a 300 yard shot on this kudu out here. And then I'm going to try and follow it up. Definitely not with that scope. Definitely not using that one. But I'm going to try and follow it up with one of these wildebeest out here as well. I do believe there's another good four. Yeah, there's a four right there. So there's a four and a kudu. All right, here we go. Smoke the kudu. The four, I think we hit decent, to be honest. Nope, definitely did not hit decent. Got him that time though. We're shooting 300 plus yards out there. And I'm shooting high. Warthog, Warthog, Warthog. But I think we got him. <laughs> I never saw any sign of motion. After we took that shot, there was no more motion. So I think we got him. Oh yeah, we definitely got them. In fact, I think we got three of them. The Warthog, and I think we took down two of the Wildebeest. Oh no, we got the Kudu, I forgot about that. So we got the Kudu, Wildebeest coming back, Wildebeest coming back, 320 out. Oh, no, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Another guaranteed, well, I guess it's not really guaranteed diamond, but it's pretty much guaranteed diamond right there. A gold diamond potential wildebeest. That's gotta be him, that's gotta be him right there. It's gotta be him. It's him, it's him. Oh, if he would've stopped and turned back, I would've taken that shot. All right, so now we know where he went. And yeah, eventually he should circle back. Just like this one did right here. I can't imagine he's gonna go too far before circling back because we never shot at him. We just uh, kicked him up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, right there, right there, right there. Okay, how far is that though? 170 yards out. He's in the grass though, I don't have a shot. And he's gonna be in range, but I don't have a shot. Oh, right there, right there, right there. 150 yards. That's a shot, that's a shot. Just smoked him. He was actually right on the edge of this grass here, so it was very difficult to pull off that shot. As you can imagine, trying to take a shot in this tall grass here is not the easiest thing to do. But honestly, there should have been blood. Yeah, right here, right here. Really good blood, and I definitely saw him run back this way. But this would be a really good situation to have our dog. Well, we found him down right here, so we're not going to need him. He didn't go 50 yards and piled up right here. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Smoked him. There was another male somewhere, too. I wanted to get him as well. Uh, looks like we're going to get... There's the male. That's the male I wanted to get. We're not going to get him, though. Could maybe go for the female. 
Well, we couldn't get that mail, but right here is what should be another Dime Potential Wildebeest. It should be. But is it going to be? It's going to be another Diamond! Three Diamond Wildebeest! Back to back to back! Perfect shot. Double lunged him at 135 on the walk right there. Absolutely smoked him. And a gold diamond wildebeest. We just got our second gold diamond wildebeest ever in Call of the Wild. As a matter of fact, here's our kudu down right here. And we pulled off a 333 yard heart shot. Right lung and a heart shot on a 126 kudu. I just got a call from another warthog down over here. So I want to see if I can't locate him real quick. And if we can get a shot off, awesome. If not, then uh, we'll probably go grab our warthog that we actually did get. Yeah, well, there's something laying right here. So that's probably going to be our warthog. And it definitely looks like we dropped him right on the spot. Oh, it's a nice one too. 47.20 gold. Ended up pulling off a 255 yard trotting double lung liver shot. And we dropped him. All right, I see something running. No freaking way. You got to be kidding me. He's going to come back eventually to that spot there. And we have absolutely nothing to shoot him with. We have nothing. The only thing I have is the hawk edge bow. I would have to say that that should be him. It should be. I don't know. I'm not for sure if it is or not, but. Man, if I could at least get eyes on it, that'd be awesome. But where is the question? Right there. Oh, it's not him. What, hold up. There's a couple. There's a couple coming in. Female, a small seven. I think that's it. A six. Suppose we can go for a practice shot here. I think we got him. Oh yeah, we definitely got him. And guess what guys, we decided to go back to our lodge, grab our 300 Magnum, and there's our nine legendary coming right in. 200 yards out, but apparently something else is coming in too. And we got a solution for him. All right, a little bit high, but that was definitely not too high. Okay, perfect, we dropped him. Now let's find the giant. I think that's him. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. He's going behind that hill, but he should come up over the top of that hill. And when he does, then we'll be able to take the shot with a 300 Magnum. Oh my God. I thought that was him. It's a female. So I never did see that Cape Buffalo after we lost sight of him there. Unless No, that can't be him. He was right there. And I lost sight of him. Oh my god, there he is right there. 150 yards out. Oh my god. I accidentally grabbed the 22 Hornet. Whoops. All right, guys, here we go. Should have smoked him. Definitely smoked him. Holy, we smoked the crap up. How is he going down so fast? One hit with a 300 Magnum? Wow. I'm pretty impressed with that. I thought it would take a long time for him to go down. We must have got like double lung liver. And he's down right where we last saw him right here. He is piled up. Man, he didn't go like 100 yards and piled up. After one single hit, he's pretty big. No freaking way. 
He's a diamond. Four diamonds in one hunt. Four diamonds. And they must have made the 300 Magnum more powerful or something because we only got a single lung hit. Pretty perfect shot. Quartering away at oh. 150 yards. But yeah, only one single lung. And he didn't go like 100 yards and piled up. But that's a diamond. 155.6. A pretty good size diamond, actually. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're using the 300 polymer tip bullets. So you would think that... You know, it really won't change much, but yeah, I'm I'm so impressed the fact that he went down that fast. I mean, I was getting ready to put a follow up into him. Trust me, I was definitely going to shoot again, but the percentage started dropping so fast that I thought, why? Like he's absolutely smoked. And so I just let him go on his own and that was it. And he didn't even go 100 yards and piled up. Like literally the last place that we saw him, he was laying there. But what a heck of a hunt. Holy, I took off like a day or two of making videos and I think I just made up for it in one video. Four diamonds on the Africa Savannas. Three of them with the AR-308 and one with the 300 Magnum. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoy coming back out here to Africa and having an absolute blast hunting out here ever since they changed the whole map. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.